Hi, Anthony here with a review on Firefox 48, which was released on August 2nd, 2016. I've been overseas, so I apologize for the delay in publishing this review. This new update comes with a ton of bug fixes and fixes to security vulnerabilities, over 4,000 in all. There have been many changes in this update, but I'll focus on these three main changes. The first major change is implementation of a multi-process architecture, or process separation. The project is dubbed Electrolysis, or E10S, and you'll hear a lot about it in the coming releases. Essentially, it will split up Firefox into multiple processes in order to improve responsiveness, stability, and security of the browser. The first phase of this project is to split Firefox into UI process and content process. So when a resource-intensive web page is loading, it won't lock up tabs, buttons, and menus. In phase two, Mozilla will be further splitting up content processes. So one resource-intensive web page won't slow down another web page when loading. And in phase three, the plan is to sandbox Firefox add-ons or extensions to ensure that problem add-ons don't slow down the browser or web pages when loading. Only a small percentage of Firefox 48 users will have the multi-process architecture enabled initially. To find out if you have it enabled, type about colon support in your address bar and then check the multi-process window section. As you can see, mine is not enabled as of yet. To learn more about the new electrolysis project, check this blog post from Mozilla. Secondly, Mozilla has enhanced protection against malicious downloads. So when you download files using your browser, you will see them categorized as malicious downloads or uncommon downloads. If you click on the download button, you will also see different warning messages depending on the type of download. And if you click on the download link, you will see various types of dialog boxes giving you various options like the ones you see here. Under the options menu and in the security section, you will be able to control security options pertaining to the downloads and browsing protection. You can read Francois's blog post to learn more about it. And finally, Firefox extension signing has become mandatory in Firefox 48 onwards. A while back, Mozilla had announced that this change was coming and they provided an implementation timeline and indicated that the preference override would be removed. If you are using add-ons that are not signed in by the developer, they will be disabled by default. You can check this list of blocked Firefox add-ons. As mentioned earlier, there were other changes in this browser update as well, including changes for developers. You can check the Firefox release notes. You'll find the link in the description section. Finally, I ran the BrowserMark benchmark tests on Firefox 48 and Google Chrome 52. These were the results. Overall, as usual, Google Chrome continues to outperform Firefox, but it'll be interesting to see how Firefox performs as the electrolysis project takes shape. Well, that's a wrap. You'll find many other Firefox reviews and tutorials on my YouTube channel, so feel free to check in. And as always, thanks for watching.